when you hear LeBron might retire? I mean, he's 38 years old. I'm sure it's something he's definitely considering. And if he ever logs on Twitter, he'll be like, man, fuck you guys, I'm quitting just so I don't have to listen to this shit anymore. Yeah, I assume he's probably going to retire soon. Maybe not, like, this year or anything, but soon. Bron going to play a season with Bronny before retiring. I mean, that'd be another, what, f what how old is Bronny? be another, like, two or three years, I think. LeBron James amends stance on playing with Bronny in the NBA. Just because that's my goal doesn't mean it's his. Bronny James will be a freshman at USC. So yeah, it'd be at least two years. One year at USC. Probably going to the draft as a rookie if he's not dog shit. So he'd be in his 40s. <laughs> LeBron is returning to college and playing with Bronny at USC. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> I, I, bet you, I bet you USC would be like, please, brother. This would be amazing. Like an actual Billy Madison story. Give him a red shirt freshman or something. Technically, he probably can. He legitimately probably could because he didn't go to college. He got drafted out of high school. So he skipped college. He could actually like red shirt at USC probably if he wanted to and if the NCAA allowed it. Not the NCAA, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That would be fucking amazing if he did that, though. Like, Goofy and Goofy Movie 2 shows up to class and shit. God, that'd be so good. NBA waives eligibility to play in college. It's LeBron. They would rewrite every rule in the book if they could. Imagine LeBron as a rookie in college at fucking 40. That'd be so good. <laughs> that would be so fucking cool. Doesn't LeBron have a producer credit on Space Jam 2? Why not Why not make a movie about this? This is gold he's sitting on right here. He can't act. <laughs> you just can't recognize high quality thespian acting. I'm classically trained, so when I saw LeBron James in Space Jam 2, I knew I was looking at a timeless performance. Bronny could have gone to the draft direct. I think it's always smart to at least play one season in, uh, in college. I think that's just important. Even though, like, some of the best didn't go to college, they just went straight to the NBA, but still, I just think that's better. <clears throat> Do you believe LeBron doesn't flop like he says? Oh, no. Le Lebr LeBron flops. Everyone fucking f uh, flops. Let me... Where's the one from the other night? I think it's going to be here, right? Yeah, right no. here. A, a complete embellishment so good. James. There's actually never been in any team that I've played on in my 20 years where we've been a flopping team. Is LeBron the king of flopping or is this whole thing overblown? Check out LeBron James here as Paul George gingerly touches the tip <laughs> of his chest. Uh, I'm calling flop here. This one, however, is controversial on the free throw miss. Watch Chris Paul step in and box out. LeBron hits the ground. This one, though, was from actually just a couple nights ago. It's so good. Like, he gets touched in the face, barely, and then he's like, ah! He's actually never been in a... The clip cuts off, but he slides into the crowd and has a drink spilled on him. It's really dramatic. It's fucking cool. Probably gonna be this one. I forgot he says thanks to the guy for the towel. I honestly thought he was about to, like, shed some tears here to really sell it, because he looks like he's, you know... Starting to swell up a little bit for it. But then he doesn't pull the trigger on it. He's not ready to unleash his full Space Jam 2 acting abilities. Didn't need to. They already called it. It's not just him. I mean, shit, there's so many flops in the NBA. It happens. It's not even just LeBron. It's just that. Yeah, the anti-flop tech. Bro got out-flopped. Yeah, this one's a little... Like, I feel like the refs only called this one out of obligation for the first flop. Because, like, legitimately, this is just, like, just actually playing defense. <laughs> like, just normal defense. <laughs> like, uh, like this one's even more egregious than James, but James started it. He blew the lid off, so I think they had to call, like, a, a reverse flop. Marcus Smart is the flop god. Cool. Man, he's pretty good. Watch Marcus Smart. You can't, okay, 
okay with some, some contact there, right? Yeah. What was there? You tell me. I mean, there's a little bit there. What's even the point of flopping that position? I actually don't understand. You already you already have full possession there. Unless he just like actually lost his balance. He's like, fuck it, I'll flop and sell it. I mean, there's a little bit there. He does like to flop. That's kind of like just to draw the foul there? Yeah, but that's kind of a useless one there, right? I guess I don't know what the situation was with like where they were in fouls. Maybe, maybe it was worth it. That just seems like a useless one. He is pretty good at flopping. Not, I was, I, I touched him, I, but I, th I thought he oversold it. You know, he's, smart, he's a smart player, that's why his name is Smart. <laughs> smart play, he, he this guy's in high spirits about it, they must have won. Uh, he sold it, yeah. He sold it really well. Uh, I but so. now you gotta keep doing you know, what he's doing because it's working. You know, people are not seeing. Our favorite dude is us again. Market Smart flopping, y'all. Damn, that's gotta be an awful legacy to have. Even calling him out on the shows itself. You need to see football flops? Oh, I, I've seen plenty. Thanks to Tier 1 Nacho. Those are just... Well, no, those are absolutely worse than NBA flops. Alright, fine. We'll see a couple of these. What was that? Target. What? Whoa! The double charge draw. That was pretty cool. In the mouth. <laughs> and Stevenson slapped himself with his left hand. Complimentary pieces that are out there be it above the three point line. Good call. Oh, man. To shoot the ball. No. Stretch the defense out. <laughs> and Tice took a shot in the face. But he's going to get called on him and he's going to foul out. Nope, check that. On the handle. Got Bogey to bite and he puts it down. Shot fake to try to get that was a delayed the one. And, and you know he couldn't decide whether or not to commit to it. If you Weak. Move forward as a defender on a ball fake. It's and that's all on Dante Jones. Yep. That foul right there was on Leslie Hudson. <laughs> Damn, got him with that fucking it's push from foul, Hunter. Hunter, Corey Christ. Get a call from the league office. Tatum by in the back. Holy shit! I get PJ Tucker. That's it. <laughs> he, he actually did get him with that whole force push there. Nearly sent him into the stands. Whoa! Now, when you get caught flopping, it. They they still don't encourage it, right? Like it's a foul on you for flopping, right? I actually haven't got to catch a flop live in a game. No, you still just get fined. I thought, I really thought that you ended up getting a foul called on yourself for it. <laughs> what the fuck? Major flop. Yeah. Capital F These are some pretty impressive flops. I am impressed. I wouldn't say that they're getting increasingly more dramatic, though. They're kind of just staying the same level of dramatic. Just a whisker. Four. And then a foul on Stevenson on the block. <laughs> he oh, he's dead! He killed him! Oh, shit! I mean, born actor. Come on. When you look at the turnovers force today. <laughs> no concussion protocol quick. Oh, he's still going. 
Go, go, the aftershock. Boozer and Bosch. I don't, even, I don't even think he hit him. This is all about selling it, Kale. Well, let's see. Sometimes let's see. You I always love that. That one's the classic flop. That's just actually textbook where it looks like you just got like headshot. This is all about selling it, Kale. That one is Sometimes iconic. You've got to sell oh, no, he did. He did with the right They sell like Triple H in the WWE. Yeah. Got the Academy Awards coming up. Oh, Jesus Christ, smart. Man, this guy... You can say all you want about smart and his flops, but one thing you can never be mad at him for is how hard he'll go for the flop. He doesn't even cushion his fall. That's a lot of pressure on the tailbone right there. That, that shit definitely hurt. That absolutely hurt like a bitch. Bro did the silly salamander. <laughs> True three-pointer flop. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's good. If you're going to flop, at least hurt yourself doing it. Hopefully all the athletes were were safe and made a speedy recovery after such brutal hits they took in those in those games there. My god. Love these IRL ragdoll physics. Yeah. There was a sniper in the crowd. Must have been. Do they practice their flops? No, one thing you actually do practice, though, is taking a charge, which is why you see in all of these flops, almost every single time, it's like a similar cushioning. So when you take a charge, it's here, you fall back, and then, like, right when you hit the ground, you, like, push yourself off to kind of, I don't know, take some of the sting out of the fall. So it's the same for flops. That's why you see them do kind of the similar thing. But I, I doubt they practice flopping. Thanks, Resub Cambe. Do other sports have flops? I think the only other one that's notorious for flops is soccer. I don't think there's any other sports that have flops like that. <laughs> 